In Folderit, you can manage access on any level – files, folders, subfolders, or your whole account. The account you first registered is the main account in your organization. The subscription will be tied to that user. And it is also the first administrator, of course. To add users, locate the admin tools on the lower left corner and choose Manage Users. Now you can either start adding users or first enforce your own password policy if required. Should you want to set the two-factor authentication as mandatory, you can do that here. Click Save when you're done. Users can be added either with an Active Directory, an Okta integration, or manually. To do that, click on the plus user button. You need to add a person's email address, which will also be their username. You can add the person's name, last name, and position in your organization too. As you can see, you do not choose a password for the user. The user now receives an email with your invitation to join your team. There's a link in it which they need to click to choose their own password. And if required, set up the two-factor authentication. That is all they need to do. Upon their first login, they'll initially see only one resource by default. It is the team folder. Like any folder, you can rename it to anything you like and you can leave it empty if you want to. But since it's like a welcome folder really, perhaps keep your organization's policies, event galleries, or visual identity materials in it that everyone in your team needs to access anyway. Oh, and if you really don't want to have this folder at all, an administrator can disable it. So, now you have some users in your system, but they can only access the team folder. You of course want to give them access to some other hand-picked resources. Let's say we want to give Dennis access to folder Client A that is under the main section Clients. Click on the Share button. A model opens. Choose a person or a user group that needs to access this resource. Select the appropriate permission level they should have for the Client A folder. Upload only permission gives the user or user groups access to the folder to only add files, not to see anything in the folder that others have added. Preview only permission allows seeing everything but only as an in-system preview, not to download, print, or copy anything from the documents. Viewer permission allows downloading, previewing, and printing. Editor permission is the full access in the folder to do anything the user needs. The custom option allows you to finely tune exactly what actions a person can or cannot take within the resource. You can even make some users able to see the list of files in a folder but not the actual files themselves. Every access you grant can be set to auto-expire on your chosen date and time if needed. There you go. Now Dennis has full access to the folder Client A, but he cannot see any other resources. You can add more users to this resource, or more user groups, or with different permission levels and access expiration settings. Additionally, you can activate a public link when sharing a file or a folder. This way, anyone who knows this unique link can access the resource without the need to register a user. So you can send links or files over email or publish them on your website. There are two permission levels available for public link, preview only or download. If you want to give access to any of the main sections, just hover your mouse on it, click on the settings icon that appears and choose share from there. The familiar model appears, and you can give people access the same way as with any folder. Another method to manage access is through tags. Everything, any file and folder that has the same tag can be shared in one go. For example, you could have a tag finance, and perhaps some sub tags like invoices, investments, and loans under it. You can share the entire main tag or a sub tag only, as per your preference. If you need to give someone access to everything you have or creating another administrator, go to Admin Tools, click on More Tools, and then Share. This is account level sharing. Giving someone editor permission on that level will make them administrators of your document management system. They can access all data and use the admin tools like you can. However, here too, custom permissions can be chosen. To set up user groups, Head to Admin Tools, Manage User Groups, click on Plus Group, and give the group a name. Then click Add Member to add the first member to the group. Repeat to add more members.
you can also add other groups into user groups. If you're ever in doubt who can access your organization's account, locate Admin Tools, click on More Tools, and then Access Overview. This view lists everyone who has any access to your account and all the public links anyone has activated, with an easy way to turn them off if you decide so. If you click on a person, you can see exactly which resources are available to them and even why. We can see that to this user specifically, these resources have been shared. Additionally, being a member of certain user groups grants him access to resources shared within those groups. And since we have added him as our team member and have not toggled the team folder off, he has access to the team folder too. If you decide a user shouldn't have certain access, you can revoke it either from the sharing model or directly from this view. If a person leaves your company and you need to revoke their access completely, navigate to Manage Users, click on the Settings icon on the right, and select Remove Access. However, if you're using Active Directory or Okta, these systems will manage this process. That's it. This is how access management works in Folderit Document Management System.